In Boston, the case of a pedophile priest continues to rock the city's Roman Catholic diocese. Cardinal Bernard Law, who protected the priest accused of molesting more than 130 children, is under growing pressure to resign himself. ABC's Ron Claiborne has the latest on the scandal. In his Sunday sermon, Cardinal Bernard Law admitted for the first time that he had failed to protect children from John Gagan. The judgments which I made, while made in good faith, were tragically wrong. Under fire by many Catholics in the Boston area, some of whom are demanding his resignation, Law insisted he would not step down. I do not believe that submitting my resignation to the Holy Father is the answer. The sermon was read at every church in the Boston Archdiocese. At St. Julia's Parish, where Gagan allegedly molested children over nine years, worshippers were anxious to hear what the embattled cardinal had to say. I believe it's way too late. It should have happened much sooner. Uh, there's been criminal activity among people that we have entrusted our confidence, and that's a crisis. In 1989, Cardinal Law removed Gagan from St. Julia's Parish for treatment for pedophilia then reinstated him that same year, writing to the priest, It is heartening to know things have gone well for you and that you are ready to resume your efforts with renewed zeal. Back at St. Julia's, Dagan allegedly continued to molest children. Law's apology, his fourth in a little over two weeks, comes just days after the release of thousands of pages of Archdiocese documents, evidence in 84 lawsuits against Dagan. The current crisis has put enormous pressure on Cardinal Law. He now says even past allegations of molestation by priests will be reported to police. The current apologies don't mean that much to me. What I'm looking for is actions, and he has come out with some good plans in the last couple of weeks. But it may not be enough to contain a growing scandal that has fractured the fourth largest Catholic archdiocese in the country. Ron Claiborne, ABC News, Boston. And we'll be back in a moment. Before we go, a brief review of tonight's main story. Secretary of Defense Donald Rumsfeld got his first look today at the Taliban and Al-Qaeda fighters being held at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. He said he is confident they are being treated well and certain they should not be designated prisoners of war. And that's our report for tonight. We always like hearing from you, so email us comments about the show at weekend at abcnews.com. I'm Carol Simpson. For all of us here at ABC News, have a good week and good night.